Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Luca, and I've got another J Rilla video here for you today. So today, we have got Who is J Rilla Part 2. Now, if you don't know who J Rilla is, I highly recommend you go watch my Who is J Rilla Part 1 video that's on my channel. If you have and you came back, mwah, I love you. You're awesome. And with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. So as I said in my last video, Jay Willer is from Cork Island, okay? And I found out some more info about our beloved Jay Willer. Turns out that we've got a youngin' on our hands. Yeah, that's right. Jay Willer is only 18 years old, okay? That's right, 18. So for anybody who may be on the younger side watching this video, let this be a message to you, okay? Your age doesn't define you, your talent does, right? And if you're still on the fence and you're not sure, here's a story about another artist named Takashi. No, not 6 9 but Takashi. I'll chuck his Instagram page up now. And this guy makes beats every single day, okay? And he's only 16 years old, but you'd have no idea if you'd only just listen to his music and you'd have no, you know what I mean? He works with artists all the time and he's building a community and a team for himself and I'm so impressed by him. Since my first video, Jay Rilla has blown up massively and he deserves it. We've got to give people flowers where they're due, right? And Jay Rilla definitely deserves it. Since he's released somebody that I used to drill, he has blown up massively. He's had huge success from his songs lonely for the first time and begging you and it's well deserved highly i mean the progression from each one of these songs is amazing unfortunately we can't listen to somebody that we used to drill anymore because gotier forced jay rilla to remove it but luckily there are channels re-uploading that if you would like to see more about this controversy i have a video on my channel that you can go click on and it will explain more of the controversy between J Rilla and Gautier. So I said that J Rilla was blowing up and I wasn't lying, all right? J Rilla is set to perform in Cork Island at Indy 2022. And bruh, I'm so chuffed for you. Congratulations. Come on, everybody. Round of applause for J Rilla, man. Congratulations, bro. You deserve this so much. I can't imagine it going to a better person. And come on, for 18 years of age, to be doing a festival it's so impressive bro like I, it, it took me by surprise when i saw the post and you announced it it was so gobsmacking i was like raw this is crazy it's actually mad to see j rilla go from somebody that i used to drill to lonely for the first time and now he's doing festivals it's crazy and it's not just festivals either. Jay Rilla has been doing interviews with local papers and here is quotes from Echo Live and they spoke to Jay Rilla about his musical influences growing up and some, uh, some more things. Here's what Jay Rilla had to say. I guess when I was younger, I've always just kind of been listening to what's popping the most or what's the most relative to the scene at the moment. I grew up on Eminem and all of that stuff, you know? And then I saw guys from Ireland just popping up online the drill scene built on heavier, more nihilistic takes on the trap subgenre. And I was like, what's this? Got into the genre, started writing my own stuff on it, and thought it was pretty good at it. So I said, why not give this a try? I recorded my first proper song called Whip That in here, posted a small TikTok, and the whole thing took off from there. I kind of told myself, all right, I can do this on a larger scale. If you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing and smash that like button because I've got playlists for you to browse. There's more J Rilla videos. I've got reactions. With that being said, let's go back to the video. In one quote from Echo Live, they were speaking to J Rilla about his relationship with his producer, M5 Honcho Coco. And this is what J Rilla had to say. What brought me here first was just when I was writing songs, I was looking for a place to record. And this place, I saw Coco's Instagram post and it looked like a positive input on making music. So when I came here first and I just recorded my first song, I can say Coco definitely recognizes the potential. And I almost feel at an early stage of an artist, I needed someone to kind of have belief in my own artistic value. And he definitely gave me that. And that's what brought me back to the studio again and again. Me and Coco are definitely making stuff happen. 
Now, I can honestly say after speaking to Coco myself that Jay Rilla wasn't lying when he said that Coco gave him self-belief and he needed someone to believe in himself. Because after speaking to Coco, I felt that same way. Do you know what I mean? I felt like Coco believed in me and that there was potential in me that I could actually make something out of this YouTube channel. Do you know what I mean? Like, and... He made me feel like I was a valid creator. He listened to my frustrations, my concerns, and he said that if I ever needed help, that I could come to him and ask for help. Like he'd help me, help me out as best as he can. And he's he's kind of taught me a few lessons on how to cultivate an audience. And I'd like to say thank you to the subscribers who've stuck around and they've been sharing my videos. It's really been helping. We've just passed 50 subscribers as of making this video. So I'd like to say thank you to all 50. I love you very much. Coco is making me, made me feel like I'm a creator that's on the right path. I'm not speaking into a random void anymore. Do you know what I mean? He, he's kind of showing me how to make my own audience. And for this, I, I'd just like to give Coco his flowers. I'd, I'd like to say thank you, Coco, for making me kind of believe in myself for being this pillar in the community of helping up and coming people find their feet and having belief in themselves and learning how to believe in themselves. Now, back to the interview with Echo Live. They decided to question Jay on his choice of wearing a bali. Now, while it's not uncommon in certain hip hop circles at present to wear balaclavas, in Ireland, it has a bit of a different connotation at home and abroad. So here is what Jay had to say about him decided to wear a bally. Jay said, it's always been about the music to me. From the start, my appearance wasn't really that important. How I wanted to portray myself, it was more about how people listen to instead of what they see. Well guys, that was Who Is Jay Rilla Part 2. If you've enjoyed the video, please comment down below. If you enjoy reacts, then check out my reacts playlist and comment what you'd like me to react to next. I've been your boy Luca and I'll see you in the next one. Bye my babies. Peace.